Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> Gemini's up. Here we go. Hey, everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. Do, 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 do. Just to let everybody know what's going on. I'm doing the, um, the monthly horoscopes from everyone, for everyone, and I'm doing them live here on the sunny side on our Breakfast with Sunny show. And here we go. If you have any questions about Gemini, just let me know. Here we go. Is this working? Check it, check it out. Is this mic working? Dab, dab, dab. Okay, sunny, stop it. Okay, here we go. All right. So if you want to take part in the breakfast, with, you know, if you want to take part, for those who don't know, I read the horoscopes to you guys every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. So here we go. So here's where the action is going to start. So these are the April horoscopes for Gemini. But for Gemini, for everybody, it's going to start on March 31st, just like it did last month. It doesn't always start on March 31st, right? <laughs> but here we go. Because on March 31st, we're going to have a full moon. And what's going to happen, how this affects Gemini is this. So for Gemini, the sun is going to be shining in your groups of friends. So right, you know, Gemini's, Gemini should be very social right now. Talking to a lot of people, meeting a lot of people. You know, the focus and the spotlight is on friends for Gemini. And I'll give you an example. My mom's a Gemini and she's going to be running the Boston Marathon. Okay, So she is going to be visiting thousands of people. You know, this is large groups of friends. She's going to be visiting thousands of people who see her every year. 18, she's run 18 consecutive Boston Marathons and she's going to, they're going to all see her and say, what's up? You know, she's really popular in Boston. And they're also, okay, so that's where the sun is shining. Now, Gemini, this is about romance and creativity and children and, you know, playful behavior. And that's where the moon is. So that's what she wants to do. So the full moon is going to be shedding a light on something super personal, super romantic for Gemini's. Gemini Risings as well. The energy is going to play out a little differently between Gemini Risings as it does with Gemini Sun signs. But it's a similar kind of vibe. It's similar, not the same. And not in the same part of your chart, but it's similar. Between Gemini's Gemini Risings, the moon is a, moon signs are a little different. And so, anyways, so the month is going to start with, Gem, with a full moon in Gemini. So, with a full moon in Libra. And for Gemini, that means although the sun is shining on their friends and watching things at a world in large groups... You know, large, you know, they're seeing Gemini's. It's, okay, so that's where the spotlight is. It's also the rewards for a job well done. So everybody's going to, it's like this. My mom's training for her marathon. Everybody's going to be, you know, sh everyone is going to be watching her and how she interacts with everyone. And everybody's going to be watching Gemini's and how they interact. They're going to be watching the rewards from stuff you've done publicly, Gemini. All right, so that's where the spotlight's on. Now, the heart Gemini just wants to have fun. So there might be a little pressure here from your friends, Gemini, but you just want to get out and have a little bit of fun, which is okay because you had a rough time and you should really deserve to have some fun. So that's what's going on. Additionally, Venus has gone from astro sector of friends. So Gemini was, and as the time you're watching this video, Gemini is attracting from their friends right now. Because obviously it's not March 31st right now. But unless you're watching it on March 31st. <laughs> and so Gemini is attracting from large groups of friends. And so the love and money are coming to your friends. But as we go along through here, as the month progresses, Gemini is going to start attracting things from the past. So lovers from the past are going to pop up from Gemini's. Right now, friends from the past are popping up. Mercury's retrograde. But lovers from the past are going to pop up. Gemini might be doing something in secret right now. Gemini's might pick up a secret admirer. People who are Gemini rising might get into some kind of secret rela relationship this month. It's probably it's what's going to happen. Someone is going to crush on you and you're going to be doing something behind the scenes. You're going to be doing some kind of lovey lovey stuff behind the scenes. It also alludes to Affairs, you know, affairs of the heart. That's what's going to happen. Private affairs are going to highlight Gemini's month of April. What else is going on? Right around this time, Mars is going to conjunct Saturn. 
And for Gemini's, that's in your astro sector of joint finances. In 2016, in August 2016, Gemini made something happen which changed Gemini and the relationship. Something happened in 2016 in the summer where <clears throat> Gemini's made a decision or something that their partnerships were going to change. Now, something is going to happen with Gemini's joint finances. The money you make with someone else or the money you... You know, so if you're in business with someone else, Gemini, or you have a partner of some kind that you, you know, joint finances, something about that partnership is going to go through a transformation. You might like end the business, you might leave the business, you might, you know, it's going to, but for Gemini's, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So be careful. And that's going to happen right as the month opens on March 31st in the middle of the night. All right. So that's the deal with that. Also, Mercury is retrograde in Aries, and that means all of these themes are going to be revisited and for Gemini's that's your friends and social network so and it's coming from work so for Gemini's Gemini's and Gemini risings you're going to be doing things focusing on uh, taking care of things you do with groups of people so for me I'm a Gemini rising and I'm doing things with the Sunnyside Facebook group I'm you know promoting the Sunnyside Facebook group. I'm pushing it right now. For me, I'm a Gemini rising and it's Mercury retrograde is right here. I'm telling you guys, I want to increase our channel. So I'm asking you guys to help share the videos, to give it a thumbs up, to tell all your friends to tune into our live, <clears throat> to tune in to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as I read the horoscopes for you guys, or to tune in you know, at nighttime when I do $5 tarot readings for you guys. You know, that's the kind of thing that's going on. So Gemini's are revisiting and they're going back and they're really concentrating and they're pushing their social networks right now. And that's what's going to happen as the month opens up. But the big deal, full moon in Gemini's wanting to have fun and children, Gemini's might find out they're pregnant, heads up. In addition, to, like seriously, they might find out that one of their friends knocked them up and they got pregnant. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> All right, on top of that, the... Uh, you got to watch this kind of thing. All right, what's the next thing? Then we cruise along. Do, 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 do. Till April 5, 6. So April 6, April 7th, right here, the moon is going to be square the sun. And whenever the moon is square the sun, we get a little grouchy. Excuse me, like people argue. Especially if you have a strong moon influence in your chart. Things you really feel. The sun is shining right the spotlight is shining in a way that like you're not really receiving it you know you're going to feel like people don't understand you your vibe is not going to you know going to going to be chill right so so that's that's what's going on so that's what's going on for those who don't know you this and I'll say I don't know if I'm going to say it in every video but I'll say it right now for Gemini again the the sun this is what's why it's so important a moon connection in relationships the Sun is what warms you it's where everybody is looking and the moon is what you feel is what you want right it's what you feel the moon is the moon is what you want to do and so if someone in relationship astrology has a Sun makes an aspect to the moon then someone's the moon person feels the warmth of the Sun person if there's a moon Venus connection you feel their love you know, if there's a Moon-Mars connection, you feel their aggression. Some people like that, some people don't. <laughs> if there's a a Moon um, a Moon Pluto connection, you feel their uh, psychic connection with them. You feel obsessed. Pluto obsesses, and you feel their obsession with you. And that's how it works. How the Moon works in relationship astrology. Obviously, if you want to know all about that, then message me, and we'll. Um, I'll give you a personal reading. And for Sunnysiders, there, there's always, it's always half off here for guys who subscribe to the channel. All right, so that's what's going on. Now, when the sun is square the moon, you're going to feel the other person's warmth, but you're going to feel it in a way that it's like going to make you feel like they don't get you. That's why whenever the sun squares the moon, people are always, they're like, you don't get me, man. I wish you, no one understands me. You don't understand me. I got to understand you, motherfucker. You're like, <laughs> all right. Here we go. Next. <clears throat> See this? April 13th, Mercury is retrograde. The little red thing there. And then as we move forward, around the 14th, around 14th, Mercury is going to go stationary direct. 
Now, that means Mercury is in this section of friends here. So right now, once again, Gemini is focused and thinking about their friends in their social networks. You know, like your Facebook group. Should you get rid of your Facebook friends? Should you do this? Should you do that? And then, and then we're going to have a slingshot effect that's going to happen because there are a couple of things that are happening on this day. So first, Mercury is going to go stationary direct. So <clears throat> we're going to make those decisions. Everyone's going to make those decisions and it's different for everybody. For Gemini, the decision is all about your friends. You're going to make some decisions once and for all what you're going to do. So me, I'm supposed to be doing stuff for my Patreon supporters. Me, I'm doing stuff for the Facebook group. Me, I'm trying to grow the channel. Please help support the channel. And this, what I, we're all going to decide to do is going to happen on the 14th and then the 15th. Now watch this. On April 5th, on April 15th, we're going to have a new moon. See that? 25. The moon is at 25. The sun's at 25. And so this is, once again, all in uh, Gemini's astro sector of friends and rewards from the work you do. So if you've been feeling unappreciated at work, Gemini, this is a situation where the rewards might come to you halfway through April and it's time to move on. And just to let everybody know, you know, my mom's marathon is a couple of days after the 15th. I think the marathon is on the 16th. And so new beginnings. She's going to reap the rewards, very clearly reap the rewards for all of her hard work and very public effort. All right. And that's how this works for everybody. So once again, we're going to have a new beginning for everybody on the 15th. And for Gemini, it's going to be in your sector of friends and social stuff. What else is going on? Do, 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 do. Then we have April 20th is going to cruise around. And on the 20th, we're going to have a new moon in Taurus. So the spotlight for Gemini. So once again, Venus is in the 12th house for Gemini. It's behind your sun. So that means you're going to start to feel uh, lovers from the past are going to come back. You're going to be in a secret relationship for, you know, Gemini Risings. Someone has a crush on you and they're going to let you know. And that's what's going on with that. Good luck with your relationships with that happening. And then anyways, the sun is going to move into this area right here. So on April 20th, everybody's going to be looking into your past, Gemini. Everybody's going to be looking. And it's not so weird because it's going to be the end of, after, let's use my mom as an example. It's after her race and everybody's going to be looking about how many races she's won and what she's done in the past. And Gemini is going to be nostalgic. And they're going to start looking into their past as well. And that's what's going to happen around the 20th. Everything happens about Gemini's past. And this relationship right here is going to start to come out into the open. And that's the 20, 20th. And then on the 22nd, do, 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 the moon is going to square the sun again. So on the 22nd, Gemini's, Gemini risings, they're going to feel like their needs aren't being met. And that's going to happen you know, in communication, like you're going to have a communication breakdown. Some stuff from your past, Gemini, is not going to jiggy jive with your present. And you're going to talk it out and you're going to fight with all of this stuff. So you're going to fight with someone from your past or you, and you're not going to feel like your needs are being met. And that's going to happen on April 22nd. And then cruising through on the 24th, Venus is going to enter into Gemini. So love is going to move from behind the scenes and you know, people are still going to be looking into your past, but love is now attracting Gemini straight up. So Gemini, from the end of the month, you're in the attraction spotlight, which is really good. And, you know, but love, again, you know, for those, all those, that entire four or five day span, you know, first, your sun, the moon, watch this, Gemini Risings. First, the moon is going to square the sun. So the, you're going to feel like nobody appreciates you. And then you're going to move forward. When we get around here and right around there, moon is going to square Venus. So you're going to feel like nobody loves you, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Okay, cruising along. On April 26th, it's a big day. 25th at night, Mars is going to conjunct Pluto. So whatever happened, and it's in the same, very similar. It's moved on. You know, it's a number of degrees it's moved on. But whatever happened in October 2016 is going to repeat itself for Gemini's and Gemini Risings and it's a situation of joint finances. So whatever happened financially at that time is totally going to repeat itself. And finally, the month is going to end on a full moon right there. 
Shazam. And for Geminis, this full moon to end the month is in your astro sector of health. All right, you're planning. So towards the end of the month, uh, stuff Geminis have been planning, that's going to come into the spotlight. Uh, or people are going to find people are going to find out all the stuff you've been working on behind the scenes. That's what's going to come into the spotlight, and that's the action. Anyways, that's Gemini's month at a thing. So it's all going to start off with Gemini's wanting to have some fun. You know, they have to watch joint finances all month long, and it's about fun, friends, and then lovers from the past, and. That's pretty much the action for Gemini's. <laughs> and that's the action for Gemini's, guys. I hope everybody appreciates it. You know, everybody digs that and everybody's cool with that. And um, that's the action. All right, time to take a break. Let's <laughs> see what's going on with everybody here. <laughs>